Welcome to the Trucking Safety Council of BC's Trucking Safety video series, focusing on moving and lifting. This video series will provide practical information on how to safely and effectively lift, carry, push, and pull loads to reduce risk of musculoskeletal injuries, such as back and shoulder problems. Hi, I'm Carmel Murphy. I'm a Canadian Certified Professional Ergonomist. This video, Manual Handling Basics, provides information on how to prepare yourself for work involving manual handling. Manual handling can be a high-risk activity for injuring your back muscles and joints and should only be used when there is no option available for using mechanical lifting and moving equipment. Before you lift or move anything, it is important that you understand the basics of safe material handling. To avoid injuries, always keep the normal S curvature of the spine, as your back is strongest in this position. Make sure you know how much the load weighs. Keep the load as close to the body as possible. Slide the load to you first if it's too far away. Check whether it's balanced before you lift. Get a good grip on the load. When lifting, use the large muscle groups of the butt and legs. To turn, pivot with the load or step through the turn. Do not twist. Get help when you need it. Allow for recovery time if you have a number of loads to move. Before we start talking about specific lifting methods, make sure that you know the stop, think and act process explained in the preparing for work video in this series. This process helps you to prepare yourself, plan and carry out the best and safest method to handle each load. As part of your planning during the think phase, you should be deciding if there are options to use mechanical aids such as forklifts, dollies and handcarts for lifting and moving your load. If that is not an option and you have to lift or move something manually, keep this in mind. There are three zones around your body. These zones can be described as green, yellow and red zones for lifting. The green zone is where the load should be placed around your body so that you are the strongest and your body position can support a safe lift without injuring yourself. So when you plan your work, one of your goals should be to set up the situation so that your load can remain in the green zone as much as possible. Specifically, the green zone is defined by the arc that your lower arm makes when you stand upright with the elbows close to the body and you bend your elbows from this position. As the load moves further away from the body into the yellow and red zones, you increase your risk of injury when lifting or moving the load. When lifting loads in the green zone, you'll be able to walk right up to the load and lift from your strongest position using the lifting basics. When the load is higher than waist level, but below shoulder level and close to the body, it is still in the green zone. You may be able to pivot the load off of the front edge of the surface it is resting on to lower it to an even better height. If the load is outside of the green zone, but within arm's length away, it is in the yellow zone and injury risk is increased. Strategies include sliding the load to you first before lifting, moving your body as close to the load as possible while keeping the normal curvature of the spine by keeping your head up, butt out and stomach muscles tight. Try tilting the object or container to get it closer. Loads that are further than arm's length away or above shoulder height are in the red zone and have the highest risk of injury, particularly to the back and shoulders. Manually lifting in the red zones will be covered in the lifting from ground level and lifting above shoulder height videos. To recap, stop and ensure you're physically and mentally prepared for the task. Think before lifting and assess the hazards. Plan how to get the lift into the green zone. Reposition the load if necessary, especially if you find that the load is unbalanced or the handholds are awkward. Put the load down and readjust. Stay in the green zone during the lift. This concludes the video Manual Handling Basics, part two of the Trucking Safety Moving and Lifting series. If you have any questions or are looking for more information, please contact the Trucking Safety Council of BC. Thank you.